Hello everybody, this is Avo85 coming back with another video. The Nintendo September Direct has just finished not too long ago. And if you're a 3DS person, they might have a few things up there that you might be excited about. I'm not a 3DS player, but at the same time, I did see a few things that made me think, okay, this seemed like it would be a good game to get if I had a 3DS. There's nothing that I saw that would actually make me want to go buy a 3DS right now. I also wanted to say that the intro and the little segments in between showing the games with Reggie and the other guy for the most part, those were pretty corny, very bad. So of course they started it off with Pokemon Sun and Moon. And one of the things they said was when you pre-order it, you'll get a Munchlax, which has a certain item on it. And when the Munchlax evolves into Snorlax, it'll be able to use said item to have a new move that's called Pulverizing Pancake. And they ain't really say, you know, any stats on it or anything, but it just, they just made it look like it's gonna be very strong. One of the other things they was talking about is regional variant Pokemon. And the best way they use that is by saying, I mean, basically it's Pokemon, they're gonna look different because they're in a different region. They used the Rattata. They said Rattata is gonna be a normal and dark Pokemon in this Pokemon game and they gave a specific reason saying that okay because of one other Pokemon the Mongoose or something like that the Rattata moved away from where the normal spots it would be at so now it's only in darker places to survive so they had adapted to the region and then they also showed off a Shanshrew that was white so could assume that it's going to be a ground ice Pokemon all right that puts a little more invasiveness to switch, you know, switch up these normal types that you really don't even care about in the first place. So I can get with that. That's a good switch. Kind of makes me want to play it. Next game they talked about was Super Mario Maker 3DS, which is coming out in December 2nd. A few things is going to make this different from the Wii U version. They're going to have a metal challenge, in which case you can go to a stage and do things like kill certain enemies to get a metal for it. You won't be able to search for a certain course through a person's ID, but they still have recommended courses. I would say that's a bit of a letdown. You can only go to stages that have been recommended to you that's on the 3DS. So you're not gonna have Mario costumes. That is only for the Wii U version, but you can do collab course in this one. So if you have a friend, you wanna do some of the course, you let them do the rest. Super Mario Maker on the go. I'm sure a lot of people will get that. Super Mario Party Star Rush comes out November 4th. There are also going to be seven different Amiibos that will also come out on November 4th that will be able to be used in Star Rush. They eliminated turns in Star Rush. So now it'll be whoever gets to the boss or the item first. When you start to go against a boss, people can still catch up and they can still win. But you do have the advantage as long as you get there first. Another thing that they're going to do is have ally characters, which have their own specialties. They can help you out, whatever they end up doing in the game. If they get an item or they get coins, those coins will go to you. There will be seven different modes that you could play on. So that's also a positive. The Mii Plaza is getting an update, which ain't even that big of a deal. One of the things is that instead of only having 10 people to interact with or you can be friends with or something, you can make it a way where it can be a hundred. I wasn't really paying that much attention to that, man. I mean, it's, it's me plaza animal crossing. I wasn't paying that much attention to this one either, but I do know that they're going to have another mini direct for animal crossing later this fall. They said that they had a new leaf update. It was also saying that there was going to be some cards. It's going to come out on December 2nd that's going to show new people that haven't been shown before in the game. And I forgot exactly what that's supposed to do, but it's supposed to do something. Man, this was like the low end of the direct for me right about now. Another thing they were talking about in this low end of the direct was there's going to be a puzzle game called Pit Cross. It's out right now, but there's also a demo out right now. So check out the demo. If you like it, go ahead, buy the game. There you go. Another thing that they're going to be doing is spotlight games every week where for a limited time, 
Some of the digital games will be at a reduced price on their launch. And it's probably gonna be for like a week and then it'll go back to regular price. Rapid Fire, Tank Troopers is gonna come out sometime this winter. Three Link Amiibos is gonna come out sometime this winter. A Zelda book is supposed to come out sometime this winter. A Mario 3DS XL bundle will come out sometime later this year. Two new Hyrule Warrior characters for the 3DS is gonna come out sometime this year. And we're gonna stop right there with the rapid fire because I wanna also say that I want new characters on the Wii U, not the 3DS. The Wii U is superior to the 3DS. Give me some new characters on the Wii U. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, coming out September 8th. They're supposed to have new seance trials and some other two new type of investigation techniques that they're supposed to be implementing in this one. We'll see how that goes. There's also going to be a new Dragon Quest that's going to come out 2017. But before that, there's going to be a, a remade Dragon Quest coming out September 16th. So, yeah, obviously, people that like Dragon Quest, they're going to go get that one that's coming out. At September 16th. Yokai Watch, Bony and Fleshy. Two different games, and both are going to be the two separate clans that are going against each other in this game. It's supposed to be somewhat like Pokemon, where you can get certain friends in this game, where in the other game you can only get certain friends in that one. And that's coming out in September 30th. But mid September, they'll have a demo out. That you can check out the new sonic boom game coming out september 27th i don't think anybody really cares but in this one you will be able to switch characters in mid game so maybe that's something worth checking out doubt it though shin megami tensei 4 apocalypse they didn't really go too much into this one but they did say it was coming out september 20th and you will receive certain medals with the first version of the game it looks good Wooly World coming out February 2017. They will have some video shorts. It will also end up having Amiibo Poochie that you can use with the game. The Poochie will come out on the same day as the game. Ever Oasis. This will look like another game that will be worth playing or at least worth trying out if you never heard of it. Basically, you'll be traveling in the desert and then in the desert, you'll try to make your own oasis and then you'll try to build up your oasis to end up eventually having people want to live there with you or ally with you and you'll go out into the desert to fight monsters and collect materials to to help build up your oasis that's coming out sometime in 2017. one of the last things they talked about is mario sports now mario sports is going to be mario tennis soccer horse racing golf and baseball and it's going to come out spring 2017. These are supposed to be full scale games. So soccer, for instance, is supposed to be a full 11 versus 11, not like a five versus five or something like that. The last game they talked about was Pikmin 4. It was a side scroller. And I honestly don't know what else to say about it other than that. I mean, they didn't really say too much on it to me. They just said basically the same things that you already know. The red ones are resistant to fire. The yellow ones are resistant to electricity. The blue ones can go on the water. I mean, we already know that. It's coming out sometimes 2017 and be on the lookout for that. Overall, this Nintendo Direct was, it was okay. They did have some, some good games that they showed that was coming out. And they showed a bunch of games that's coming out immediately. Like they have at least five or six games that's coming out September. They had no games for October. That's crazy. What did y'all think? Take a look at it. I'll provide a link so you can see the whole thing for yourself. Will it make you go get a 3DS this holiday season? Let me know. This is Save 085. Sign it out.